In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at all of the weapons in Battlefield 5 and trying to work out which ones are the best for each class. Now, we've done videos like this in the past, and as you know, they are often difficult to make, so I'll make this initial disclaimer before we get into things. I've chosen these weapons based on the following criteria. Firstly, these weapons are the best for taking out an enemy, assuming you know how to control vertical recoil. It might be that you cannot control recoil at all in Battlefield, so some of the weapons on this list, although I've ranked them really high up, might not be for you, and I'll make that point clear as we progress through the video. Secondly, this list assumes you have unlocked the weapon to level 4, meaning you can gain access to 4 specialisations. This is pretty important, as some guns are fairly bad without any specialisations, and then really quite good when you stick 4 upgrades on them. Finally, I'm also taking in an ease of use factor into the equation, as with some of the weapons, it might be great for taking out one player, but then maybe not so great in other situations. So having that ease of use factor in there as well is going to be useful for a lot of people. With the last weapons list I made, I did not take this factor into consideration, which left a lot of people confused with the final set of weapons I recommended. In this video though, I will take those different playstyles into account and make that clear during each section of the video, and also bear in mind that a few of the weapons have been nerfed and buffed since that video I made a few months ago. So a couple of general things to take into account. Horizontal recoil is terrible in Battlefield 5, as it's really unpredictable and difficult to control. This means the specialisations you choose for your weapons will be fairly straightforward in most cases. The first specialisation you often have to choose is either the recoil buffer or an alternative. The recoil buffer helps you control your vertical recoil, but in reality, any player can easily learn to control just vertical recoil with a small amount of practice, meaning you are almost wasting a specialisation. The second and third specialisation are linked together, and as a basic summary, the left tree is typically geared towards improving hip fire, hit rate, and increasing the weapon's rate of fire, whilst the right tree is typically geared towards improving ADS hit rate through base spread or horizontal recoil upgrades and strafing accuracy. Finally, the fourth specialization will often offer you a vertical recoil decrease that isn't worth choosing at all. Polished action is also usually a solid pick to help with the hip fire hit rate. As I mentioned, the recent patch has changed the spread in weapon fire in Battlefield 5. Five round bursts are more accurate than ever, so consider that when playing, and potentially in a future update we may see a four bullet to kill within 15 meters for automatic weapons, which is what a lot of people want in order to make the SMGs a bit more viable when comparing them to the semi-auto rifles. So this list is going to be coming from some work that KHT and a few of his friends have put together. I'm going to link all of that in the description below. It's free to read on Reddit. They've uploaded it, done all the hard work, and I'm just kind of regurgitating some of that and sharing my opinions at the same time. Worth checking out if you want to read a little bit more into it. Finally, before we get into this tier list, I know this is a bit of a monster introduction, but it's information worth knowing. I'd like to say that I've been super busy with work over the last few weeks, so the gameplay you see in the background won't necessarily correspond to the weapons I'm talking about, which is a bit annoying, but I hope you understand. The information I'm giving you is completely accurate though, and I'll link some further reading and sources for anyone wanting to take this a little bit further and get the best loadouts possible. Starting out with the Medic, we've got the good old MP34. I would recommend going for any of the first specializations and then sticking to the right hand side. This makes the weapon really nice for ranged use. The MP34 is a solid pick for anyone who just wants an SMG that can perform at slightly more than that immediate close quarters engagement range. Next up, we have a couple of different choices when it comes to the Suomi. In my opinion, it's one of the best weapons in the game, purely down to the fact it can be either a really good 1v1 weapon or just an all-round SMG that can pack a punch. So starting off, the first one you can do is a right, left, left, right specialization tree. That will allow you to be very formidable in 1v1 situations. It might be a weapon that you're reloading a lot, but you're definitely going to be getting that kill on a player that is in close quarters. 
The second one you can go for is pure right hand side with right, 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 right for a gun that is actually good and being an SMG. It can do everything you want with an SMG, hip fire, a bit of ADSing if you're trying to take down an enemy at slightly longer range, but as I say, a good all rounder. And in fact, a great alternative to the Tommy gun. Now the Tommy gun is something you can still use, but I haven't put it on the list because I feel as if the Suomi does a better job. A 50 round Tommy gun is always going to be very, very strong in Battlefield 5. Finally, you could go for the M28. It's decently viable and is, in my opinion, the best bolt action in the game. We've seen lots of clips already on the top plays, or at least a few of them I've had sent in and haven't uploaded yet, potentially, but they are good to use, especially as you're in the medic class. Bolt actions in general aren't very good weapons, so it's not a massively high bar that it's trying to get past, but it's a nice alternative in the medic class. Moving on to the assault class. Now, almost every weapon in the class is good. I'm gonna go through five or so of my favorites. The Mass 44 on full left specializations is great for all round use. If you haven't used it, try it out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised when going for a full left side specialization tree. The Turner is great for destroying groups of players. Left, 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 right is the specialization tree I would recommend. The AG M-42 is a weapon I've made videos on in the past and it's a bit of a laser beam at long ranges. A left, 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 right specialization tree is great for that long range engagement and will really pay dividends taking down enemies that are at that range and maybe have the edge on you. Maybe they've hit you first or they are sniping and you need to get that quick kill even if you're landing a couple of body shots, it's still formidable, but the headshots are where this thing shines and you can get some seriously quick kills. The 1907 with a right, left, left, right specialization tree is very good for spraying people up to 50 meters. This thing is great in close quarters conditions as well and is one of the best weapons in the class if you're looking for that immediate spray down on an enemy. The M1A1 is a favorite of mine with a right, left, left, left specialization tree. As you can see, there is a clip of this in the background I've used previously in a video. It can be good at taking down groups of enemies. I like using the three times on it, but you can run with a different scope if you choose. It's a weapon that can be spammed and is fairly easy to use if you're looking for something that is just gonna be pick up and play and really simple to get along with. Moving on to the support class, we have, in my opinion, the best support gun in the game, the FG-42, with a left, right, right, right specialization tree. This can be used in a similar way to an assault rifle and is just an absolute beast. If you don't like the FG-42, an alternative could be the LS-26, with a right, 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 and then any for this fourth specialization. Again, use it as an assault rifle and dominate the enemy. If you're looking for something at a little bit longer range, the Bren gun is really useful. Right, 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 and then any specialization is what I'd recommend with this one. The Lewis gun, again, just a good all-rounder for the class. Left, right, right, and then any is great for a pub stomping weapon with a big magazine. You can do a lot of damage with this gun, and it's good for pretty much every single map and pretty much every single condition. Next, we have two MMGs, the MG42, I'd recommend going for right, left, left, right. And the way you use this weapon is you go around the battlefield looking for people in CQB using that hip fire that you can pull off with a slide potentially and do a load of damage. And then you can, if you need to, go prone and take out some enemies at longer range or make use of bipodding on a fortification or something like that. It's quite a versatile weapon for what it is. Finally, we have the rubble camping MG34 with a full right side specialization tree. This is great at range. 200 meters or so, you're gonna be dominating and this thing will really pack a punch. Finally, let's move on to the Scout class. The Boys AT rifle, LLLR, is the specialization tree I'd go for. It can snipe, it can really cause a lot of pain to people and arguably it needs nerfing. I don't think it does, but I've seen a lot of people saying it needs changing. I think it's fairly good as it is. The problem is that a lot of people are using it because it's new and that just makes you die to it a lot because obviously the enemy team's using it a lot more than the other weapons. The PO8 Carbine is a good choice for playing up close and actually being useful. And if you're looking for something else to be aggressive with, the Model 8 is still a pretty strong choice. Right, left, left, right for that aggressive play specialization tree. 
The 1906 is good if you're just looking to be a useful scout. Left, 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 right is the specialization tree I'd go for. And then finally, an interesting comment. You could just go and play medic and use the tromboncino if you study. It's a good weapon. And essentially you're going to be a scout player that can heal themselves and others around them. So that's my list with my favorite weapons. We've gone through the medic class, the assault class, the support class, and the scout class with the medic, the MP34, the Suomi, and the M28 are my favorites. The assault, the Mass 44, Turner, AG, 1907, and M1A1. The supports, we've got the FG42, LS26, Bren gun, Lewis gun, MG42, and MG34. And then in the scout class, the boys AT, the P08 carbine, the 1906, and the Model 8. A load of good weapons there for you to get your teeth into. Again, the specializations were listed with each one. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Let me know what you think of this list in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.